a breaking news story coming in. After serving nearly three years of a three to ten year sentence, 83 year old Bill Cosby is out of prison after Pennsylvania State Supreme Court overturned his sexual assault conviction. And following this for us tonight, WGN's Patrick Elwood. He joins us from the loop with more. Pat. Ray Lotus, good evening to you. Bill Cosby frequently performed here at the Chicago Theater. That was a long time ago. His story, right? So today, the marquee could read here at the Chicago Theater, Bill Cosby, in stunning news, is a free man. Today, Bill Cosby is back at home. The 83-year-old convicted comedian walked out of a Pennsylvania prison a free man after serving nearly three years of a 10-year term. It is a stunning reversal for the man once known as America's dad, but whose reputation was sunk after Temple University sports administrator Andrea Constant claimed he drugged and assaulted her at a suburban Philadelphia home in 2004. He was the first celebrity tried and convicted in the hashtag Me Too movement. Other women have made similar claims, though. Pennsylvania's high court calling Cosby's arrest and conviction an affront to fundamental fairness. The Pennsylvania prosecutor who charged Cosby did so in violation of an immunity deal he made with a predecessor. Cosby's attorney had this to say today. The current district attorney not only uh, reneged on that promise, but then used his own words against him. It is it was fundamentally unfair. It was driven by politics. And uh, that's how we got here today. And uh, we're quite pleased that the Pennsylvania Supreme Court seems impervious to what is going on on the outside world and all of that pressure that was placed on um, the criminal justice system from uh, hashtag movements. Angela Rose is the founder of Promoting Awareness Victim Empowerment, or PAVE. And we are absolutely shocked to hear this news that he was let go on a technicality. A Chicago-based victim and trauma advocacy organization. She was there in the courtroom with Andrea Constant and calls today's ruling a travesty. You know, sexual assault is the most underreported crime in the country. And we are very fearful that because of this technicality and, and this overturning of the conviction, it's going to hinder, we fear, other survivors from coming forward. Just keep up your courage and fight on. Failure is impossible. That is Gloria Allred, who represents 33 Cosby accusers in various civil suits. This just moments ago, a brief tweet from Cosby himself, quote, I have never changed my stance nor my story. I have always maintained my innocence. Live in the loop tonight, Patrick Elwood, WGN News, Lotus and Ray, back to you in the studio. All right, Patrick.